Hello, friends. Today I will introduce the method of silver recovery from ICBG chips. Lead-free solder is mostly silver, tin, and sometimes copper or other metals. The temperature required to get a lead-free solder alloy into its molten. PB-free solder materials are used in various parts of interconnections in electronic packages. The first level interconnect is between the chip and the package substrate and lead-free solder bump. Material are used in the case of a flip chip BGA, FC BGA, solder ball where we are interested and there is a silver mixed. Recovering silver from e-waste is a similar process to mining for gold, but with a few key differences. Sources of money in e-waste, silver contacts, and pads on printed circuits, electronic components containing silver capacitors, switches, etc. Silver solders. Use nitric acid mixed with water to dissolve the solder ball. Recovering silver from ball grid array BGA chips is possible, but it is a relatively complex process that requires specific equipment and chemicals. Here are the general steps to extract silver from BGA chips. Collection and sorting of BGA chips. BGA chips contain tiny silver solder balls used to connect them to circuit boards. Purification. The raw silver powder is then purified by techniques such as calcination, cupellation, or electro-refining to remove residual impurities. For some BGA chips, this process is generally not cost-effective for an individual due to the costs of chemicals, equipment, and skills required. However, professional refiners can do this economically by processing large quantities. A simpler alternative for an individual would be to sell or recycle used BGA chips to companies specializing in precious metal recovery, rather than trying to extract the silver yourself. using copper to precipitate silver. Protection from chemicals. It's crucial to take proper safety precautions to protect yourself from the chemicals involved in the process. Here are some essential guidelines. One, personal protective equipment, PPE. Wear chemical resistant goggles or a face shield to protect your eyes from splashes or fumes. Use a properly fitted respirator or self-contained breathing apparatus, SCBA, to avoid inhaling harmful vapors or dust. Wear acid resistant gloves, such as nitrile or butyl rubber gloves, to protect your hands from chemical exposure. Wear a chemical resistant apron or suit to protect your body from spills or splashes. 2. Ventilation Ensure adequate ventilation in the work area to prevent the buildup of hazardous fumes or vapors. Use exhaust fans or local exhaust ventilation systems to remove fumes and vapors from the work area. 3. Chemical Handling Follow the safety guidelines and instructions provided by the chemical manufacturer. Store chemicals in properly labeled, closed containers and keep them away from heat sources or ignition sources. Avoid skin or eye contact with chemicals, and never taste or sniff them. 
properly dispose of chemical waste according to local regulations. Remember, safety should always be the top priority when working with hazardous chemicals. Consult with experts, follow established protocols, and never compromise on safety measures to ensure a safe and responsible gold extraction process. Use hot water to clean the silver sealed powder. Dry the silver sealed powder. Sprinkled a little borax powder. Melt the silver sealed powder. Economic considerations. The price of silver is generally lower than that of gold. Silver concentrations in e-waste can vary significantly. Recovery processes require specialized facilities and equipment. Profitability depends on the quantities processed and the efficiency of the processes. Although silver recovery is technically possible, it is usually carried out by specialists, recycling companies with the necessary infrastructure and skills. For an individual, it may be more beneficial to sell or recycle e-waste to these companies rather than trying to extract the money yourself. I hope you like our videos. Please apply for membership and share our videos to cheer. Thank you very much.